Wahala be like bicycle. <laughs> Wahala be like bicycle from fan legs to sin legs. Please don't ask me what I mean by sin legs, okay? Because I'm not gonna answer that question. But if you watch this video till the end, not skip any part, then I'm sure you're going to understand what I'm trying to talk about. So this is your girl Villa Mama, and I'm here again with another voice over with my froggy voice like that of David. Do. Mm -hmm. So guys, so we're talking about Alex Ekubo and his longtime fiance, Fancy. Yeah, these two, uh, there is news on the internet that is making rounds on the internet that Alex and his longtime girlfriend, a Fancy, they have broken up. These two, if you look at them from my own point of view, they are some kind of delicate they have some kind of delicate personality. They look all this ajebota, ajebota couple thing. Like they cannot hunt to fly. And so these two have been dating for over five years. And uh, they got engaged in May 2020. And already we saw their wedding invitation that was going uh, around on the internet. Their invitation was already out on the internet and was making rounds on the internet and was circulating everywhere and their traditional wedding was slated to take place in november 2021 in the bride's home village imo state and um, the white wedding was to hold in lagos so guys there is this news that is making rounds on the internet that they have broken up that the uh, wedding uh their supposed wedding has been cancelled and the reason is because uh it is alleged that one of cameroon's female actors or one of cameroon's actresses is the reason why this uh, engagement has been called off or she's the reason why the marriage has been cancelled so guys um this is just uh rumors on the internet actually like i said and uh, i'm not really sure about that news but like i said it is rumors and uh, it is alleged that alex has been cheating on fancy for a very long time now and that this is not the first time this is not the second time this is not the third time that fancy has been has been uh tolerating uh alex's cheating habit and then this time around this was the last straw that break the camel's back and fancy couldn't take it any longer this is so because these two have been in a love relationship and like i can like i say they got engaged like i've said they got engaged in may and then they were planning their wedding in november but of recent they have unfollowed each other on their social media handles and then also their wedding page that they created they have deleted the wedding page and then why uh, my question is that why is it that all these things are happening only after alexis visit to cameroon in june we all saw in the internet that alex visited cameroon in june this year because there was this um watch party that he was supposed to have in cameroon uh because you know they are all actors and actresses so they had this watch party which took place in cameroon and so alex was in cameroon and then he ate some eru ogbono soup a goosey pudding some okra soup some ogbono soup some ndole some bitter leaf you know so alex had a good time in cameroon enjoyed himself like you can see in these videos yeah and then after his trip in cameroon he now went back to nigeria 
and then two months later we are getting uh information that his supposed wedding that was slated to take place in uh november has been cancelled yeah and then uh the more reason why i had to make this uh video is because i saw the post fancy uh, fancy made on her on her social media platform when she said that uh, hey guys i am writing to inform you all officially that i have ended my relationship engagement and i have called off the wedding with alex ekubo i am aware that this may be a shock to many people i made the best decision for myself because it is important that everyone finds their happiness and live in their truth at this time my family and i ask you all to please respect our privacy thank you so much so guys this is the post that fancy made on her social media platform she made that post uh and she was officially announcing her cancellation or the cancellation of her engagement and supposed wedding to alex ekubo and like she rightly said many people are in shock people are in disbelief because people look at them like this ajebota couple that they suit each other so very much and if you even if you look at their age difference alex is just uh, 36 years old uh, while uh, fancy is 30 years old so these two couples they actually suit each other but what could have went wrong why is it only now that um all these things are happening after alex visited cameroon like i gathered from other blogs because the news is all over some cameroon blogs and uh, even some nigerian blogs uh it is said that or it is alleged that alex is also into uh, men that alex also does men and it's not the first time he's cheating he has been doing this over and over again and like i said it is alleged that he he is also into men and before you come to attack me please i have the source of my information uh -huh. Like I was saying, before you come to Jim Ike me or before you come to Rasta me, <laughs> just know that I'm going to Vikings you because, like I said, I have the source of my information and it is alleged that he doesn't only do women, he does men as well. So now, guys, um, if you look at this video keenly, the video which is uh, at the beginning of this video, if you look at that video keenly, you see how this actress, this supposed actress is flirting with Alex. You can really see how she is throwing herself at Alex. You can really see what, how they were playing and, well, someone might just think that maybe that could be just some kind of, um, is it work, work relationship? Is it some kind of business relationship or what i don't know but if you look at the way they were really flirting with each other and then uh, alex was whispering something to her ears and then she was just laughing and throwing herself at alex all that to me with all what is happening now then maybe if you try to put one and two together then i think that one can try to pin where all this is coming from like i said from fan legs to sin legs use your head use your headquarters okay you don't expect me to spit out everything to you guys. So guys, uh, looking at this other scenario, Nosarex was in Cameroon some time ago. He also visited Cameroon and it is this actress, Kelimbi. Kelimbi actually is the, is a Cameroonian, Kelimbi is a Cameroonian producer, film producer. She's also an actress and a director and she was the brain behind uh nosa rex's visit to cameroon and when when rex was in cameroon we saw videos of how he celebrated his birthday in cameroon together with kelim b and other cameroonian influencers or actors and actresses they were together and they celebrated alex's or oh, sorry not alex 
Nosarex's birthday, and then after the, the after they finished uh, the project, why he came to Cameroon because they were shooting a movie, The Devil I Married. Yeah, after that project, Nosarex now had to go back to Nigeria, and then later on, or a few months later, because all these things are happening at almost the same time. So, at the same time when we are getting news of um, Alexis' uh, uh, marriage cancellation with cancellation with his uh, fiance, it's the same time that uh, Nosarex is also celebrating his um, sixth year anniversary. He's also celebrating his six years in marriage at the same time when when Alex was supposed to be getting into marriage, instead Alex is cancelling or Alex is getting a cancellation of his own marriage because actually it is Fancy who dumped Alex. Fancy is the one who dumped Alex because she has had enough of Alex's cheating habits and she cannot take them anymore and then she decided to call off the wedding. So why is it that instead for for alex to have gone back to nigeria and then had his wedding with his fiance instead we are getting this kind of bad news yes it is bad news just like fancy said that it is shock to many people yes of course it is shocking shocking news because we all saw these love birds on the internet how they were so much in love with each other and one could never imagine that they these two might ever break up someday so why is it that alex is getting a breakup meanwhile uh uh, uh nosarex is celebrating six years in marriage what could have went wrong whatever you think you can drop it down in the comment section uh despite all these things that are happening i always have my take or i always have my own opinion to share yeah i want to really applaud fancy's courage yes this is not easy because uh like the saying goes it is better to have a failed engagement than to have a failed marriage right it is better to have a failed engagement than to have a failed marriage now it is better and early that she has um, called off the marriage instead for her to have pretended and then uh maybe they had pushed through with the wedding and then later on in future she discovered many other things about alex that she couldn't take and then oh tomorrow you hear that she's getting a divorce just like um is it Paul Okoye is getting a divorce with his wife now and they are in courts and they are dragging up and down and the court is asking him to pay is it 7 million naira and stuff like that for upkeep and stuff like that. So I am trying to say here that I applaud Fancy's courage. Yes, because many a times women don't identify these red flags. They ignore red flags and then they get into marriage and they think that when they have married these men they are going to change for the better but i'm sorry to disappoint you if a man doesn't love you if a man doesn't value you in a relationship not when he has married you and paid your diary and paid your bride bride don't think that at the time he's gonna value you so like i'm saying or like i said i applaud fancy a failed engagement is better than a failed marriage because sometimes women just force these things because they want to get married maybe because of societal pressure uh, peer pressure family pressure and they also have pressure on themselves oh i'm getting old i need to get married now oh there is no more i don't have time there's no more time on my side i need to get married and stuff like that and you see them and some of them they even get married because they want to do pepper them gang things and then at the end of the day, now your skin go pepper you fine for inside because now you want to hear them for your kanda. So guys, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that me, women should try to identify red flags in courtship or in relationships, in, re in their relationships before they get into marriage. Because sometimes it, these red flags are there, but we ignore them. And we think that maybe when we get married, maybe I'll change him. You cannot change any man who is not willing to change, okay? And sometimes they even get married. 
they force things and force things and then they finally get married and then now you think that okay i'm trying to change this man maybe he's going to change he doesn't change and then you start thinking like oh maybe if i have a child for him he's going to change change <laughs> my dear sisters having a child is just going to worsen everything if you notice this kind of red flags in your relationship it is better you quit before you find yourself in regrets and before you know it you're in one abusive relationship that he abuses you and molests you and does all sorts of rubbish to you and then you find yourself you get into depression you get into mental health you cannot take care of yourself. You have anxieties and things like that. So it's better that you call off the engagement when you see these red flags. Okay, so this is my own take or this is my own little advice that I had to say concerning this whole thing. But if you think that what is happening is, um, is something that uh was it can i say it was destined to happen or if you think that someone is behind it or someone is the cause of all these problems all this breakup you can as well drop your honest opinion in the comment section and guys please don't forget to like this video share this video comment down below in the comment section let me know what you think um yeah I'm sorry I um um if you get it from my voice I'm really tired I am really so tired but I had to make this video or I had to do this voice over to update my vikings about what is happening So guys uh I'm going to see you guys in our next video Until then I love you all and may God bless you don't forget to drop your honest opinion about what you think down below in the comment section. Yeah, like I said, I have my my proofs because this news is all over the internet. It's roaming from even it's on some Cameroonian blogs, even Nigerian blogs. They have posted it. So because I hear people are attacking people now that because you you said this about me on the internet blah 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 so one really needs to be careful now with the kind of information that you put out there so guys i love you also very much and thank you for watching do not forget to like this video and also subscribe if you have not done so and i'm going to see you guys in our next one until then stay blessed bye bye god bless you all